If you've been watching any of my recent videos, you know that I took this battery out of my car right here and put a new battery in this car. And the reason for me taking it out because um, I did some battery tests here. My cold cranking apps was like 300 and something. My resistance was above seven. My battery tester was telling me that the battery uh, state of health was bad. But, um, but boy, was I wrong? I gotta admit, education costs money. In this case, luckily, it only cost me $170. But let me show you what's going on. But before we move on here, I just wanna show you this one number. We'll come back to it in a minute. See that number right here, 80 amp hours? That number's gonna be very important here in a minute. So first of all, let me do some comparing and contrasting here. So today, I'm gonna use my um, Top Don Phoenix Plus and I'm going to use it with the top done. Um, this right here is the um, BT Mobile Pro. Um, this comes out. This is a beast of a battery tester here. But uh, I've been had it for a while. This is the first time I made a video about it. It's made by top done. So, all right. I'm at my 2017 lacrosse here, right? So, let me go ahead and uh, connect my uh, connected battery tester here. Get my wire. I don't want to get these wires tangled up here. Give me a second here, guys. Uh, go ahead and connect the battery. Connect this right here to the good old positive post. Connect this guy right here to the negative post. All right. Bluetooth is going here. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to begin recording uh, now. All right. So what I want to do here is just set this right here. And I'm going to go to tester. Okay, let's back out. You already, but don't worry about what you just saw on the screen. We're going to test the battery in the car. All right, so this here is an ANG flat battery. This has 850, 850 cranking amps. Hit OK. Hit next. All right. And hit confirm. And what do you know? Look at this. Brand new battery I just bought last week. And it's saying that my resistance is above five, which is not so, so bad. But I say above five is not ideal between three. and but I say three or less is ideal between three and four is okay. Got a good state of charge. Cranking amps, 473. State of health. Wait a minute. State of health, 31%. Cranking amps, 473. Cold cranking amps. State of charge, 100%. Hmm. Very interesting, huh? Well, it turns out if you check these batteries in the car or if they've been charged or used, uh, you know, say like today, yesterday, for some reason, these AMG flat plate batteries when you use a battery tester, are going to output results like this. Now, let's go over here. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to unhook this. Let's unhook this guy here. Let's go over here to the battery that's been sitting in the box on the floor for a week. So let me show you what happens when you do that. All right. Put this right here. Let me hook up this little red guy here. All right. Hook up Okay. All right, let me see if I can get this tab off. All right, now, hook the negative guy up to here. Okay, let me go get my scan tool over here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so now, let's back out. As you can see, we have the battery tester connected to the battery that's inside of the box. We're gonna back out. We're gonna go, let me set this up straight so I can see here. We're gonna go to tester. Wait a minute, that glare is a little annoying in there. Let's go to battery tester. Uh, cold cranking apps on this battery is 760, I believe. 760, well, that's close enough, it doesn't matter. Hit that, hit, OK. hit next. Hit confirm. And what do you know? This battery's been sitting on the ground for a week. And remember, the resistance to the battery when I tested it with the battery charge in my previous video was above seven. And the cold cranking amps was about the same thing as the other battery, which is about 
you know, 400 and something. But now it's saying I have 832 cranking amps, 2.9 resistance, state of health, 100%, state of charge, 100%. This battery has been sitting in my garage on the, on the floor for a week. So what I'm saying is that some kind of way, the chemistry in these AMG flat plate batteries, when they're inside of the car, and meaning that inside the car, I mean, I guess if you let your car sit for like a week or two without driving it, maybe, but I don't know because my car haven't been driven since last week and you just, but I did charge it because I do got my trickle charge over there. So in other words, if this battery has been used, charged, discharged, this battery has had any kind of activity, it appears to me that um, it will not be. Um, produce uh, accurate reading for cold cranking amps, state of health and resistance. So there you have it. If you properly want to check an AMG battery via cold cranking amps and state of health, you have to take this battery. At least this is what I think. You have to take it out of the car and just let it sit for several days. But even there's more. Remember, we talked about that 80 um, amp hours a while ago. Let's go jump in the car with a scan tool because to my knowledge, no other, I don't know of any battery testers out here actually check the actual amp hours of a battery, but you can check the amp hours through the scan tool. And again, cause you just saw the, the battery that's in this car here has a bad state of health. But when we go connect this scan tool right here to it and check the amp hours, um, we're gonna see that that is probably the gauge that you want to use to test the health of a flat plate AMG battery while it's in the car. So let's just go hop in the car real quick. All right, guys, we're back here with the uh, Phoenix uh, Plus inside of the vehicle here. Let's go ahead and do an auto scan here. See what we got. Uh-oh, we're across 2017. All right, so let's go ahead to quick access. We're going to check the amp hours here because that's what's important why the battery is in the car. Now, I do have the car running. You might can check this with the key on engine off. I'm not entirely for sure, but um, but either way, this is what you want to check why the battery is in the car. At least this is what I think, what I, what, you know, what I have learned here. So you remember on top of that battery, it said 80 amp hours, and the battery I have in the trunk also is an 80 amp hour battery so we go ahead and data stream we want to go to um you could choose any you can choose quite a few of these things and probably find this what we're looking for but let's go to electronic electric power management data and we're going to look up a few data pids here we can just go to data one and you can look up battery current sensor battery voltage and uh, uh, let's see, net battery amp hours. That's what you want to do. And you can also look at state of charge. We're not too concerned with that. We're going to hit OK. Now take a look at this. 80, wait a minute, focus that. And it's 85 amp hours. That's what you want to go by. And the problem I was having, you see how this is 13.9 right here, and you look at the voltage now, I mean the amp, I mean the current, the current is going out from the battery. And what happens is that what I was unaware of was that in some cases that that's what my, especially with my other battery, I never it was like two weeks, and that's another thing I forgot to mention earlier, the reason why I changed that battery. <laughs> For two weeks. I never saw the voltage of it being charged above 13.3, but now I know. I either thought that it would be at 14. I know that this car charges the battery and doesn't charge it from time to time. This flips. I thought it would just, but to, but I always was just on the assumption that it would be 14, you know, volts charging, and when it's not charging, it would just go back down to the 12.6 or whatever the battery current battery voltage is. But anyway, um, not too uh, much of an expensive lesson here. But again, you definitely want to focus, uh, let me back up here, you definitely want to focus on these uh, uh, amp hours here if you're testing the battery in the car. And if you take the battery out of the car for several days and just leave it sitting, if you test it for cold cranking amps and the state of health, you will get a good result.